All right, Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and blessings to the elect. It's the GMS Dallas Camp, Yachazak, and I got the brother Tazama here with me uh, with another in transit on our way to the uh, Hamazabak, the altar, you know, headed to camp. And um, we've been going through uh, Romans chapter 8 as our in transit. Uh, lessons on the way to camp and uh, we're gonna pick up where we left off uh, in uh, Romans 8 and 18 the Lord willing it be edifying wake up the hopeful elect <clears throat> and condemn the wicked okay. let's get it Con, okay uh, this is the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 18 it says for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us going into what was happening back then you correlate that to what's happening now our people will under heavy the followers and believers of Yahweh Shai won the heavy persecution, man. Right. You know? They was going through all these different battles with different doctrines, you know? Then you had the, uh, the the Romans that actually wanted to kill every last one of them. And, and he said, for I reckon the sufferings of this present time, which for us now is 2017, this present time, the sufferings that we go through, we haven't even got to the hard part yet. You know, and you got Jake quitting and all kind of madness going on. But Paul said, he says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to what we have coming to us, man. To the glory that'll be revealed in us, man. The, the, the hell that we catch around right now ain't going to have nothing to do or, or no effect on a spiritual body. Right. You know what I'm saying? On a man that stood stiffly. Go ahead. Con, uh, just make a quick point. I got a precept that the words of Scripture says in the book of Hebrews, uh, the 12th chapter. It tells, uh, you know, it says, "Ye have not resisted yet unto blood." Roughly paraphrasing, you know what I'm saying? So we didn't, we we haven't resisted yet to whereas, you know, uh, certain brothers may have to shed blood. You know what I'm saying? They have to, may have to die for, uh, you know, may have to take a bullet for somebody. The, one of the brothers, I say, ultimately is for you. How about Shimmy? How was shot? You know what I'm saying? But we haven't got to that point yet. You know, so that's why we're in this. You know, that's why we 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 do the lessons now. We teach. On the highways and byways now to help build up our spirit for the day of adversity. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is a quick precept. This is First Peter's chapter four. I'm gonna start at verse twelve and go down to about uh, verse fourteen. It says, "Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, mm -hmm. as though some strange thing happened happened unto you." I said, "Don't think it. Don't think it a strange thing, man." Scripture say, "When you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation." Yep. So you can't be surprised when you catch hell. Go ahead. Con. It says, but rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai suffering. Take it cheerfully, man. Take it cheerfully, man. Yahweh Shai suffered in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Because it could it because it wasn't no greater glory that was gonna be revealed in him. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The glory that was gonna be revealed in Yahweh Shai is, is, is what gives us the hope that we have. You know? Con. And he came in the flesh and he dealt with the things that we had to deal with. He dealt with all of it, man. And, and, and on a heavier scale, man, because he had a bigger job. He had a bigger job at the time. You yeah. know? Go ahead. He had to reconcile the whole nation of Israel back to the Heavenly Father, man. God. You know, and that's not that's not a heavy thing. That's not a light thing, man. You know, to, to get up on the cross, you know, to be spit on, to be to be hit, to be whipped. I'm talking about completely damn near uh, mutilated, whereas you can't even be recognized. You know, he had to, he had to take the complete rod of humility to be exalted. Matter of you know, fact, let me get something real, real quick. Okay. All, right. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 52 and 14. It says, As many as were astonished at the, his visage, talking about Yahweh Shai, was more marred, uh, was marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. God, you know what I'm saying? So, hey. Compared to all the slavery pictures that we see where Jake was getting whipped, you know what I'm saying? You see their backs all beat open and whatever the case may be. Hey, man, it says that he, his visage, man, was it, it was worse than what we can even imagine. Man. Yeah, his visage is his countenance, his face. Yeah, you know? So he had he had to go through that route to be exalted. You know, we, we come in the same stead underneath underneath uh, Yahweh Shai, man, being servants. We got to, you know what I'm saying? As the, Yahweh Shah said the servant's not a, a greater than the master. So we're going to have to go through the same persecutions that Yahweh Shah went through. God. You know, we go through we, we go through persecutions with words now. People, 
you know, uh, uh, calling us rapists or whatever the case may be, pedophile, whatever the case may be, man. But hey, it's going, it's going to get physical, man. You know, but hey, the Lord gonna lift up a standard too in this time. That's right. Uh, verse thirteen it says, "But rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings, that when His glory shall be revealed, ye may be, uh, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy." Gone. That's what I'm saying. Like when you go into uh, what's that uh, when uh after the apostles got beat. Acts five. Acts five. Yeah. yeah. After the apostles got beat, man, they counted it joy, man. You know, they lumped up, bruised up, and all that, man. But they wasn't tripping. They felt they self. They uh, they felt they self being elated for being beat in, for the name yeah. of uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we gotta be, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if you wanna call me a rapist, knowing you ain't got no proof that I've never done no crazy shit like that, if you gonna say that just to make yourself feel better, you know, Lord said, "Blessed are you when the men revile you." Yep, yep, yep. The Lord prepared us to be hated, man. Yep. Go ahead. Next verse, actually, check this out. It's finna go on what you just said. Verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye. Happy are ye, man. You know? You got people telling you that Yahweh Shai name ain't Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So they ain't worried about what he got going. Right. You know? You got people that saying that they believe in Yahweh Shai, but then the, the doctrine don't match. Right. Go ahead. For the spirit of glory... Uh, for the spirit of glory and of the most high resteth upon you. Mm -hmm. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. There you go, man. It's a difference between the two. You got men that's going to stand up for Yahweh Shai, and you got men that's going to crap on it. Yep. Go ahead. In all, in all aspects of what takes place, you know, for the men that, I, I call them boys, you know what I'm saying? For the boys that, you know, uh, revile you and revile the name of Yahweh Shai. You know, and for the men that actually do stand up for Yahweh Shai and what he's, uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for what he, in the commandments that he's given us, hey, at the, at the end of the day, what is that equal, man? It equals complete balance, man. The Lord has it, it's all set up. God. You know, Romans the 11th chapter talks about that, how, you know, uh, 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 pretty much uh, their enemies for the gospel's sake, you know what I'm saying? But on your sake, you know, it, but for the Father's sake, it, they're glorified, man, because at the end of the day, it's all part of the Most High's plan. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. That's how the most, that's how cold the Most High is, man. The two thirds and the one third and the opposition between the two, the Lord's still going to save all Israel. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like you said, being uh, uh, enemies for the gospel's sake. Yep. You know? Gone. But until, uh, but until the Lord comes back, we can't be together because we're not, we're not agreed. Exactly. You know, the Lord is what's going to come back and make uh, 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 Nate and Nazariah and Yohanna and all these different guys realize what the real is, man. Yep. You know, Lord willing, we those men shit. Nazariah going to be sick as hell when he see us get beamed up. You yep. know what I'm saying? Done talked all that shit. Go ahead. Yep. I'm going to go back to Romans 8. I'm going to read verse 18 again. Come uh, it says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. That's right. Uh, for the for the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of the. That's what I'm saying. Our earnest expectation is along uh, is aligned with the heavenly Father, man. You know what I'm saying? To be let out of this prison, man. Mm -hmm. We waiting for our freedom to be manifested. You know? Mm -hmm. Simple as that, man. Simple as that. And then you got people that want to stay in Babylon, man. You got people that want to twist up the doctrine to keep America here, man. And that shit ain't cool. You know? Yep. The Lord said he gonna destroy this bitch. That's it. Deal with it. Yep, the Lord said, uh, you know, mark uh mark put the mark on the men of the foreheads that sign cry for the abominations that are done in the midst thereof, man. God. You know, when you go into that word, uh when you go into that word earnest expectation, I'll just get it real quick. Your strong's G six oh three, which is uh Apaka Radakia. All right. Strong's G603, Apakaradakia. Apakaradakia. Hey, yeah, uh, it, says, uh, it says anxious and persistent expectation. Anxious and persistent persistent, persistent. expectation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seek him ten times more. Man, Starting to God. show thyself approved. That's right. Give attendance under reading until I come. Man, you gotta be persistent. You know what I'm saying? Eat this roll. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Boom, bang, bloop, the bloop, bloop, blam. <laughs> so it says, verse 19, it says, For the earnest, the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. The creature is the Israelite. 
Right. For the creature was made subject to vanity. For the creature was made subject to vanity. Going back to the curses. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The creature was subject to vanity, man. That's why our people are the way they are. That's why our people can't get out their own way. That's why our people don't know how to shut the hell up. That's why our people don't know how to listen. You know, that's why our people ain't shit. Right. Go ahead. It says, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. That's what I'm saying, man. Not by, read that again. Uh, for the creature was made subject to vanity, mm -hmm. not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. That's what I'm saying, man. Most High's program. The Most High's program, man. He set it up like that so we can have hope, man. Yep. You know? He set it up to give us that hope because we had already blown it. Yep. You know? And he set that opposition in. Uh, he set that opposition in order, beautifully, man. Because he said, "I'm. You know what? I'm gonna bring them back gradually. I'm gonna start out with the 144,000. Then it's gonna trigger down to the one third. Then it's gonna trigger down to the rest of the nation. Because he was so pissed off, he wasn't just gonna just bring us back. You know? Yep. He made us earn it. He made us work for it. You know? And the two thirds are actually working for it too, man. You know? Nazariah, you might not be on the right hand side, but you're doing the work of the Heavenly Father, whether you know it or not. <laughs> That's right. They you know, deceived and the deceiver are his, man. You know, <laughs> and that's a beautiful thing, man. But until we, until we in the kingdom, that opposition is gonna be there. So you standing in your lot, we standing in our lot. You know what I'm saying? It's all about making it to the end, though. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But the, the 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 blasphemy, the blasphemy of playing with this word and and the pride, hey man, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, you're gonna have to at the end of the day, like what is, what do Yahweh shall say, man? Every outer word that men shall speak, shall, uh, they shall give account of it the day of judgment. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So all the words that you speak idly, you know, with these false breakdowns, and and you leading and you leading other men to the straight. I'm saying anyway. You the know? thing and the, and the thing about it, the 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 whack breakdowns, the whack breakdowns. Okay, cool. You don't know what you're talking about. That's cool. But that pride, yeah, that pride. that that disrespect. Yeah. That disrespect to the to the apostles and elders. You know what I'm saying? That disrespect to the word. That disrespect to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh who set up the elders. Plenty of scriptures that go into how he set up men on earth in the flesh. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yahweh Shah was a man that was set up on earth in the flesh. The disciples set up on earth in the flesh. Oh, 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 yeah, but I forgot. We can't prophesy no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. According to Israelites teaching rebellion, ITR. Yeah. According to them, the Most High set up the prophets to teach history. <laughs> I got a quick reset. Here it is: the Lord done died and came back. Spent forty days and forty nights with the apostles and the elders to teach them history. Didn't tell them nothing about the future. Yeah, just broke. You know, down. you know, futurism. He just he, he came back to get them ready for what's to come by teaching history. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Uh, quick precept. This is Sirach chapter 1, verse 29. I'll read verse 32. It says, Be not an hypocrite in the sight of men, mm -hmm. and take good heed what thou speakest. Mm -hmm. Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy own soul. That's what I'm saying. You're seeing that all over Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You're seeing that all over Israel, man. Just stick with the doctrine, bro. That's what I'm saying. You don't believe Yahweh Shah gonna deliver you, man. You don't believe <laughs> you don't believe you don't believe Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah got this thing on lock, man. You gonna change the whole doctrine up? You know what I'm saying? Read go these kings. Man. Yeah, go ahead, man. Says, I was saying we know where y'all getting that information from, too, man. Yep. It's easy. I mean, you can blatantly see that you know you getting it from Esau, man. You know, History Channel, all the other kind of BS madness that y'all into, man. But. It says, uh, this, I said, the wisdom of this world. They hanging their head on the wisdom of this world. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, and bring dishonor upon thine own soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. That's what I'm saying, man. That's, the, that's a scary thing, man. That's a scary thing to be cast down in the midst of the congregation, man. But, hey, Jake got to be made an example of, man. Mm -hmm. That hard head, stiff neck, all that madness, man. Nah, man, it's going to backfire. Yep. Go ahead. It says, because thou camest not in truth to the fear of the Lord. You didn't come in truth to the fear of the Lord, man. The Heavenly Father said the men on earth that he set up to teach, you're supposed to obey them. Mm -hmm. Period. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me get that right quick. Obey them to have a rule over you. I finish up this way. Come on, come on, come on. It says, but the end of the verse says, but thy heart is full of deceit. Yeah, your heart is full of deceit, man. 
You know what I'm saying? And that, yo, the, the, the deceit that's clogging your mind up, man, got you thinking that you know everything about the scriptures, man. Right. But it takes time to get that understanding. You know, true enough, the Lord can lace you up in a short amount of time. That is possible, you know? But that's what I'm saying. We, Bro, we got to work. We have to work for it. Man, you a you a you a seven year old child, seven eight year old child trying to go up against a man that's 33, 34 yeah. years old. That ain't finna work. Even a man that's 20, 21, 22. God, you know it's not it's not gonna work, man. They're gonna look at you and tell man, sit your little ass down. The hell you up here, man? When when, when grown folks talking, nigga, close your mouth. I said you 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 see the apostles don't even they don't even bother. You know yeah, what I'm they, saying? They don't got it. Yeah, like why, why waste your time? Yeah. Why waste your time on a, on a badass kid, man? Yeah. They told us they they they, they left it up to us. Mm -hmm. They said, yeah, y'all say shit. Y'all if y'all teach what y'all taught, y'all should be able to shut all that shit down. Yep. If you teach what you was taught, you know what I'm saying? You can't get confounded. Nope. That's why the uh what's that? Luke 21 and 15. It say uh, the the Most High give you a mouth that no man can gain, say or resist, man. If you still think Babylon is not America after the past two weeks, you a fucking asshole. <laughs> you an idiot. You a fucking asshole, man. And the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Mm -hmm. All right, this is uh, Hebrews 13 and 17. It says, Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves. For they watch your souls, and they that must give account that they may do it in, uh, with joy and not with grief, for it is unprofitable unto you. And you, and, and that's what I'm saying. That's how you know Jake Carnell, man. Submit yourself to them that had a rule over you, it's, it's according to the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You know what I'm saying? How I say the love is to keep the commandments. Our whole duty is to hear the conclusion of the whole matter. All these things, you, you can't hear the conclusion of the whole matter without a preacher. You can't hear the conclusion of the whole matter without a man that's set up to teach you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when, you, when, when, when a nigga hear the word submit, he automatically think, I'm a punk. I'm a grown ass man. I ain't gotta submit to. I'm gonna submit myself to the will of the heavenly Father. Okay, well the will of the heavenly Father said you gotta you gotta show yourself amongst men first. You gotta prove that you can deal amongst men. Yeah, you submit yourself at work every day, every single day. You, you submit, submit yourself, yourself every time that alarm clock go off. <laughs> you know. Golly, you submit yourself underneath Esau at work all all day every day. You submitted yourself amongst Esau when you changed up the doctrine. Yep. Go ahead. God, now this is back in Romans chapter 8 uh, Verse uh, 21 It says but because the creature itself Also shall be delivered from the bondage Of corruption into the glorious Liberty of the children of the most high Read that again Bible show God, It says because the creature itself also Shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption The bondage of corruption man We gonna be delivered out of that man This flesh, this flesh Chains of darkness Go ahead into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. That's what we looking for, man. That's what we looking for. We not finna wait on no nigga to rewrite the whole Bible and get burnt up with you. Yeah. You niggas like faith like a mug, man. It's ridiculous how you niggas like faith. You know what I'm saying? You change everything up. You change everything. That's what I'm saying. The truth ain't enough for Jake, man. The word of the Heavenly Father ain't enough for Jake. Sorry, I mean, what's written is already written, bro. You know? What's written is written, man. Either you believe it or you don't. That's what I'm saying. That everything was written for us to use it today, man. For our learning, exactly. If that's the case for them niggas, man, you got to omit Romans 15 and 4. That has to be omitted. Everything that, that was written before time was just supposed to be for our history lesson. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't what it say. <laughs> right. right, man. What do you, I would say, anything you learn, you, you apply it. That's the whole point of learning. That's so whatever you learn, what, so whatever you learn, whatever you learn, is for you to apply it. It's for you to teach it. You know what I'm saying? But if you change up everything you learn, hey, that's on you. Go ahead. Precept. This is pre uh, Proverbs three and five. It says, "Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding." Do you lean to your own understanding, man? You lean into your own understanding. Why? Cause you got mad. You was leaning to your own understanding with that tribe of Dan crap. You was leaning to your own understanding with the woes. You was leaning to your own understanding with America not being Babylon. That's what I'm saying. If everybody teaching the same thing except you, maybe it's you that's wrong. Man. It's a strong fucking possibility, right? Go ahead. <laughs> Another precept. This is Proverbs 21 and 4. And high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Yeah, man, and then I say, tell your congregation to uncover their head while they out there, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
You burning incense and all that with niggas out there with their head covered, man. Mm -hmm. Saluting and saying the name in the beginning of your video, stating that, you know, we give all praises to Yahweh Shah for it because he's the one that, that taught us and gave us, he's the one that gave us the understanding and the, you know what I'm saying? But okay, so. That's blast. That's a lie. Yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. According to Yahweh Shah, according to Yahweh Shah, Shem Yahweh Shah, America's Babylon. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah didn't teach you that shit. Stop lying, man. Read. God, Romans 8 and uh, 20, 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Mm, the first fruits of the Spirit, man. Yep. The first fruits of the Spirit, man. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Everybody don't have it. Everybody don't have the first fruits, man. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's called the first fruits. For a certain group, then it trickle down from there. Yep, that first fruits, man, is that is that uh, is that uh, earnest of the spirit. You know, I'm gonna get the precept real quick too. God. You know what I'm saying? Because that's it's pretty much like how you get some J's or whatever the case may be. You want to put them on layaway. You know, it's like how you know the, the Lord He gave us the spirit of understanding, whereas we understand the scriptures and we understand these things now, so that we could be, you know, uh, we could be Lord willing beamed up as one of the elect. You know, and have our transformed bodies and have a renewed mind and the law, such as the commandments written in our inward parts. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is first, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians 5. I'm going to start at verse 1. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, uh -huh. we have a building of the Most High, a house not made with hands, uh -huh. eternal in the heavens. Spiritual building. Yep. Spiritual building, man. The church. First fruits. It's all, talk, it's all going into the same thing. It's all going to the same group of men, man. Yep. Go ahead. Verse 2. Uh, for in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon... So let me read it again. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. We ready for our bodies to change, man. Yep. We ready to get out these chains of darkness, man. We ready for our prison sentence to be over, man. But we got to earn it, man. We gotta earn it, man. And you don't earn it by changing everything up, man, to fill your own belly. Yo, these niggas wanna be, they they really wanna be seen by men. They wanna stay in Babylon. Yeah. They wanna be seen by men in Babylon. They but wanna, yeah. They don't wanna stay in Babylon. They wanna stay, they wanna stay in Chicago. Niggas still wanna work. Cause by Babylon is wrong to them. Can't forget that. Yeah. <laughs> Verse three. If so be that being uh if so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. That's what I'm saying, man. Your beautiful garment, man. Put on your beautiful garment, man. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, and stick to it, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Woo! It's like we ain't gonna be confounded if we stick to this truth. You stick to this truth, you ain't gonna be confounded. Go ahead. That word naked in the Greek is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, junas. Alright. Strong's G eleven thirty-one. Gumnas. 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 All right, it says uh, properly, it says unclad, without clothing, ill-clad, uh, metaphorically naked, i.e. open, lay bare, uh, mere grain, not the plain itself, uh, bare. You know, so that's what it said, you know, going back to the uh, to the scripture. It says, uh, if so be, because it was talking about having, uh, we, we desire our, our, our body, that which is in heaven. It says, if so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. And a lot of you niggas is gonna be found naked in that day. Lord willing, we don't, Lord willing, we don't be found naked. Oh shoot, they, they walking around butt naked already. Yeah, like right now. They walking around butt naked already. You got 10 niggas on the corner with their head covered butt naked with their ass out. Yep. Go ahead. Verse four, for, for we that are in this tabernacle do groan, mm -hmm. being burdened. That's what I'm saying. Hating this place, man. Go ahead. Not for uh, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually uh, no nah, verse five is what I wanted. Okay. Now he that hath wrought us for the se uh, let me read it again. Now he that hath wrought us for the self same thing as the Most High, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. That's right, man. It's given to you. You don't take it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You got to be out your damn mind, man, to think you just go hog what the scriptures say. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You going to take the scripture and... That ain't what you're talking about. That ain't what you're talking about. 
context. It's about context. Yeah. Bro, stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep yep. going. Read. <laughs> that word content. <laughs> So like that word earnest, so like my bad. Uh, Strong's G728, which is a uh, otter or bone. All right. Strong's G728, otter or bone. Man, you like the Greek freak on this blue letter. Man, I've been, I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Greek freak. Go ahead. I've been practicing. Uh, it says uh, it says in earnest. It says money which is purchased. Uh, money which in purchases is given as a pledge or down payment. That the full amount will be subsequently be paid, mm. which is that earnest of the spirit, man. We got the we got the spirit, we got the knowledge, we have the understanding of what the comforter, what what Yahweh Shai has given to us, but that's the down payment, okay? We understand that we have a body, a tabernacle in the heavens waiting for us if we could just obey and listen. That's right. A transformed body, man, a kingdom. Yahweh Shai said, man, he he go to prepare a place for us, man. You know what I'm saying? It's already set for those men. God. All we gotta do is just continue, just being diligent, uh, continue being obedient. I'll say, king, the, uh, the kingdom is already set up for the elect, just like destruction is set up for everybody else. Yep. It's already played out in the spirit. That's right. <laughs> All right, Con. So I'm gonna go back to uh, Romans. Uh huh. Uh, so, uh, Nineteen. I was on verse twenty-three. I think. Oh, okay. It says, and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit. Uh -huh. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body that's what i'm saying the adoption was the lord uh, dying on the cross to bring us back man yep. you know what i'm saying to bring us back to the heavenly father yep it's a with the uh to wit to know the redemption of our body according to uh what's that first corinthians 15 yep, yes, about right. our bodies being changed that's right you know what i'm saying you don't want your body to be changed man you know Weak ass bodies that we got, man. I'm gonna say you want to stay in Babylon with a weak ass body. Nah, man. That ain't. Nah, man. Damn, we done got our ass whooped long enough. Yeah, man. Shit. Go ahead. Over here, you, you, you damn. You go outside, man. You, everybody's sick. You know what I'm saying, man? I can't even name how many brothers are sick in, in, in our camp. You know what I'm saying? But, man, this shit is fucking hell, man. This shit is some bullshit, man. That's hey, what I'm saying. We deserve it, though. You know, but at, at the end of the day, we fighting those brothers that sick. I guarantee you, you know, those brothers still gonna be uh, fighting. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we 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 yearn for something. We we yearn for something better, man. That's right. You know, uh, indestructible body, immortality is what we're looking for, man. That's to right. live forever. That's what I'm saying. That's the heavenly Father's good pleasure to bestow that upon us, man. Yep. Is we work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wish I say if you keep the if you do what I say, you my friend. If. But if you're gonna take what I say and completely mess over it, man, I, I'm get depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. you nigga. Go ahead. Verse 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. That's what I'm saying. If you hope America don't get destroyed, you in the wrong business. Mm-hmm. Lord said he gonna destroy Babylon. Everything the Lord said is gonna come to pass. Go ahead. It says, for what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. These other niggas, they already in the kingdom. IUSC, they already in the kingdom. Yep. They ain't hoping for your Howard Shai's return. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yohanna ain't hoping for your Howard Shai's return. Shit, they said they're going to build that kingdom inside Esau's kingdom. However, whatever the hell that means. Man. This, this, this 2018 Passover is gonna be the best Passover. We're gonna have concert. We're gonna have a lamb dinner waiting for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody don't nobody want America to be destroyed. These niggas love it here, man. So you're supposed to be eating in haste on the Passover. These niggas partying like oh. I'm talking about partying hard. You know what I'm saying? Balling like it's March Madness in that mug, man. Double double cup in the damn bottle of champagne. These niggas out here tripping, man. These niggas don't want America to be destroyed. They don't want their captivity to end, man. Because they don't believe. So they don't believe. Game. I said they don't believe that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai got plans for this place, man. And they reading the same book we reading, man. Just like what King David said, let their table be made of snare, man. It worked. Yep. Go ahead. Verse uh, verse twenty five. But if we hope for for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? Faith. Read it again. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? That's what I'm saying, man. The Most High is a man that can't lie. And Yahweh Shai is one with him, and he don't change. So Yahweh Shai be the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
Most high is a man that can, cannot lie to, Therefore ye, uh, the sons of Jacob Will not be consumed nope. That means something nope. That means something So if you got fear of being consumed You're going to act like it You're going to change the doctrine up You know what I'm saying You're going to try to disassociate yourself We see it Go ahead I got that word patience in the Greek Strong's G5281, which is uh, Upamane. All right. Strong's G5281. Upamane. Upamane. All right, it says steadfastness, constancy, mm -hmm. endurance. That's what I'm saying, constant, endurance. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We lifting our spiritual weights when we study, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So when it comes game time out on the highways and the byways, man, we ready. You know, going into these words and looking them up, man. Taking yourself out of the equation, man. To hell with the envy and strife, man. What about waking up the elect, man? That's what it's all about, right? Oh. Or do you got to conquer the apostles and elders of Great Millstone first, and then we can worry about the rest of the nation? Yeah. No, nigga. No. If that's what you think, then so be it. But that's not what the scriptures is going into, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, letter A, it says, in the New Testament, the characteristic of a man... Who was not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials and suffering. Enduring until the end, man. They yep. say that he that endure to the end shall be saved. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the scripture, uh, verse 25 again. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Uh -huh. It says, likewise, the spirit also helpeth our infirmities. The spirit also helpeth our infirmities, man. You got brothers that sick. You got brothers that got all kind of ailments, man, but they still out there, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, for we know not what we pray, so I can, for we, kn for, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings that, which cannot be uttered. That's what I'm saying, man. You have, John 17 is an example of that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, how wish I gave us, I was saying, when he told the disciples uh, about the Lord's Prayer. When you pray, pray in this manner. Yep. Abba now with Shabbat Shemayim, Kodash Ayashim, Kasa, on and so forth, man. Right. Read on. Verse 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind, uh, Salaki. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit. Go ahead. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. That's what I'm saying. All one, man. The Lord know what he's doing, man. Yep. <laughs> the Lord know what he's doing, man. He set this thing up beautifully, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. As, as, as a lot of these so-called Christians like to say, the Lord, the God doesn't make mistakes. Yeah, you, you're right. He, he, he ain't making a mistake, man. You know what he's doing. He has everything calculated 100% accurate. There's nothing that's off. That's right. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Read it again. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High. All things work together for good. So no matter what y'all say about us, no matter what y'all do, go ahead. To them who are the called according to his purpose. That's what I'm saying. Them who are called according to his purpose. What is his purpose? For Israelites to be back on top, man. To rule in righteousness, man. Go ahead. Come, verse 29. It says, it says, uh, for whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. That's what I'm saying. Everything that Yahweh Shah did, man. Read that again. Come, verse 29. It says, for whom he did for no, meaning he already knew you, according to Jeremiah 1 and 5. Yep. Go ahead. He also did predestinate. He also did predestinate. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that word. Them first fruits. Them first, they were them first fruits again. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He predestinated these spirits to come to the earth in the flesh to do tasks, to fulfill prophecy, to do his will. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That word predestinate in the Greek is uh, Strong's G 403309, uh, which is a uh, uh, pra-a-rizo. Uh, Strong's G, 4309. Pra Rizzo. Pra Rizzo. And where it says to predetermine. Decide beforehand. Pre, 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 before. Decide beforehand. Before what? The creation. It was already set up. Yep. 
Go ahead. In the New Testament of the Most High, decreeing from eternity. Read that again. It says, in the New Testament of the Most High, decreeing from eternity. Decreeing from eternity. That's what I'm saying. This already been set up, man. That's what I'm saying. It was Before anything happened, the Lord knew America was going to be Babylon. <laughs> right. Yeah. Here come a nigga in 2017, go change it. Fuck out of here, man. What a damn Krispy Kreme hairline and shit. Stop, man. I don't say whatever, nigga. Go ahead. It says, uh, to foreordain. To foreordain, man. A point beforehand. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Meaning it ain't gonna change, man. What the Lord set up is what's gonna happen. It is what it is. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Either you're gonna, you, you gonna fall into the lot to be a, to, of a prophet, you're gonna fall into a lot to be a help, or you're gonna fall into a lot to be a, a wicked ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever lot you fall in, it's already predestinated. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Everything's already set up. We just everything's already panned out in the spirit, man. We just gotta play, we just gotta play our parts, man. That's right. You know, we don't know. That's why we we know that we've been called. You know, but we don't know. We don't know if we've been chosen. Yeah, that's the whole point. That's and the whole and, thing. and 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 not knowing is what gonna make you work. That's right. Go ahead. Uh, it says, for whom he did for no. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Meaning that he was going to send these spirits down in the flesh mm -hmm. to go through what Yahweh went through and to bring and to raise them up too. <clears throat> to be conformed to the image of his son. To be changed to a perfect specimen, man. Yep. Through the spirit. Go ahead. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren going into the, 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 the governing body of Israel, man. Yep. The firstborn of many brethren, man. 144,000. He, he the oldest. He's the big brother. He's the big brother, man. And he prayed for his younger brothers to be able to go through what he went through and succeed. Yep. So, hey, man. <laughs> hey, uh, you want to, you know, read Ephesians, the first chapter, man. Come this is the first chapter, you know, that goes, uh, that, that, that goes all into the predestination, man. It, it just goes to show you, man, like the Lord has, this, the Lord has an elect. The Lord has an elect men that are set up from the foundation of this earth to push the true gospel that's already been given to him, man. Come John 17 talks, Yahweh Shot said that. Everything that Yahweh Shot said, everything, roughly paraphrasing, everything that you've given me, Father, I've given unto them. And that's what I'm saying, and that was... The order. That's what he was. That's what how I was told to do. Everything I taught you, you teach them. Mm -hmm. You know, you go back to uh, what was that? Proverbs eight. It said uh, uh, Yahweh Shai was Yahweh's daily delight, yep. and Yahweh Shai delighted in those men that was up under him, man. Yep. Yep. That's right. All right. Let's uh, let's get let's let's go ahead and read verse thirty, and then we can close it out. Okay. Let me open back up real quick. Okay. This is uh verse thirty. It says. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. That's what I'm saying. See, now we're in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He predestinated men. You know what I'm saying? Then he called them. This is the point in time in history where we are. Right now. The men that was called is try, uh, uh, trying to make sure that they worthy when your house shot come back. Right. This is where we are in time. Go ahead. And whom he called, them he also justified. Mm -hmm. And whom he justified... Then he also glorified. So if we endure to the end, man, the Lord is going to justify us. The Lord is going to raise us up. The Lord is going to do all these things, man. You know? Mm -hmm. And that's in due time. You got to prove it in due time. In due time, you have to prove, you know what I'm saying, that your calling and election that's was right. sure. That's right. I got a quick precept. Come on. This is Psalms 32 and 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, mm -hmm. whose sin is covered. Mm-hmm. Blessed is the man unto whom the Most High, Yahweh, imputeth not iniquity. That's what I'm saying. And in whose spirit there is no God. Them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. That's it. That's it. You know, and with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.